What we originally thought was mold was really green ink. See? <sighs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for that big dog and you meddling kids. <laughs> and that's how we solved the case of the moat monster, one of our most frightening mysteries. Ooh, stories like that always give me the heebie-jeebies. No wonder you became a reporter. That moat monster almost sliced you up like a pepperoni pizza. And then we wouldn't have Coast to Coast with Daphne Blake, your very successful syndicated series on Americana. Going on its second season, I might add, I never miss it. Thanks, Chris. You know, the real reason I changed jobs was because the monsters and ghosts always turned out to be bad guys in a mask. Got a little boring, eh? <laughs> no kidding. In fact, that's why the gang went their separate ways, except for Fred and me. She means Fred Jones, who's now the producer and one-man crew of Daphne's show. How about getting a shot of Freddy, guys? Is he cute or what? So, what's coming up for the new season? A new series of segments called Haunted America. Sort of a ghost to ghost with Daphne Blake. <laughs> right. But this time, I intend to find some real haunted houses for my viewers. Gee, it's too bad the rest of the old gang won't be along for the ride. Yeah, I really miss them. Yeah, like we really miss you too, Daphne. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back with Daphne Blake. Hey, you two. Get back to work. Like we're right on it, boss man, sir. Uh -huh. Got something, Scoob? And no offense, old buddy, but I think your nose might be losing its touch. Uh -huh. Pretty sneaky, but they can't fool your nose. That's right. Like, no one brings contraband food into our country with us on the job. Well. Like, let's go check it in, Scoob. <laughs> like, is this the jackpot of jobs or what? <laughs> well. uh, uh -huh. Yes, we do carry the Hair Razor series. Number 23, the Vampire Village? Got it. Number 24, the Creepy Clown Town? Got it. Number 25, Menace at Mummy Manor? Got it. Yes, I'll hold them till Tuesday. Two weeks from Tuesday? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Bye. <sighs> oh, solving mysteries was a lot more fun than selling them. Mystery Ink Bookshop. Freddy? Jinkies! <laughs> Sounds great! Count me in! Yo. Like
like hi, boss. You, you, you ate all the contraband. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> like untrue, boss. We didn't eat it all. There's still a couple of gorgonzolas left. Help yourself. You're a couple of gorgonzolas. You're fired. Sheesh, like water grouch. Looks like we're unemployed again, old pal. Well, run and pine. <laughs> like, take it easy, buddy. Something will turn up. So what if this was, like, the greatest gig ever? <laughs> like, so what if we starve? Turn to skin and bones? <laughs> <laughs> Like, hello? Freddy! Soiks! We just caught you on the tube! Busy? Nah. Scoob and I were just thinking of taking some time off. Huh. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Daff. The traffic was murdered. Is, uh, this everything? Uh-huh. Got the maps? Yeah. Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? Fred, what is with you? Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, then... Surprise! Happy birthday, Daffy! <laughs> Gosh, it's great to see you all. I've been working so hard, I guess I forgot my own birthday. I hope you don't mind, but I, I asked the gang to come along. Oh, Freddy, this is the best birthday present ever. It'll be just like old times. Well, world wide. Hey, easy, boy. It's great to see you too, Scoob. Speaking of old times, look what I have for you, Scooby. Scooby Snacks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go on, guys. <laughs> Hey! I've been saving these Scooby Snacks for a long time. Look! Like too long, Velma. They're stale. Don't worry, guys. We're going to New Orleans for our first segment, Haunts of Louisiana. And New Orleans has some of the best food in the world. And the best ghosts. I hope. <laughs> well, let's get going. Hold it. There's just one more thing. Movie. Perfect. Mystery Inc. is back in business. 